efficiency of uh, the class E amplifier. Now, for the efficiency, we assume that uh, R is not zero. It, it is still small, but uh, not zero. So it's not a short circuit. So it is small enough that uh, we can use the following uh, current expression. So the current expression through this uh, through the JFET resistance. Uh, we use this expression for the evaluation of the uh, power dissipation in uh, in the, in the JFET on resistance R when the switch is closed. Okay, so what is happening over here is if you look at the circuit, what we have seen before is so R is small. Okay, we can assume that R is much much smaller than the load resistance RL, right? So there is a finite on resistance; it's, it's not zero. So once the switch closes, once the switch closes, you can assume that uh, there is negligible current that flows uh, in the in the capacitor C1 because. Uh, C1 is almost shorted out. Uh, so all, all the all the all the all the current flows through the through the JFET. Okay. So what it says is uh, here um, the current through R is IRT is IDC minus. So this is this is your load current. Okay. This is your load current. Let's call this IRLT. So once the uh, switch closes. Uh, we assume that any current flowing in the capacitor is negligible compared with the current flowing through the switch, okay, uh, through the closed switch. So most of the current flows through the closed switch. And during that time, if you recall, uh, we said that uh, the, the the RF choke uh, uh, gets the energy from the from the supply. Uh, the supply pumps energy in the RF choke, and once and when the when the switch opens, it uh, it pumps energy back. To the uh, to the rest of the circuit, that that's the the flyback effect. Okay, so if the switch is closed, uh, L1 charges up. Okay, it gets energy from the from the from the supply. Okay, and once the switch opens, it it opens back, it opens back. Then L1 provides energy to the rest of the circuit. Okay, so uh, once the the switch is closed, you see that the the node voltage V1 is zero at those instants half of the cycles. The other half of the cycles, we have pulsating V1T. V1 T and during that cycles the uh, transistor is off. Okay, transistor is off. So it's not a sinusoidal voltage. You can see it's uh, it has harmonic. Okay, it's, it's not sinusoid. And uh, we have an average VDC. Why? Because at uh, at omega equal to zero or DC, the, the the inductor is shorted and the drain voltage is equal to VDC. So that's uh, the DC that is being supplied. And uh, if you assume for a very high Q uh, LCR circuit that your uh, Output trend, the output trend of the uh, uh, the load voltage is a, is a sinusoid at, at one frequency, uh, where the output uh, peak is your peak. Then uh, um, you can see from these equations, uh, we assume that the, the LCR circuit is high Q, so you have a sinusoidal pattern like this. Uh, then it's easy to express IRL, okay, the current through. Uh, your load resistance, let's call this IRL, okay, and that's nothing but uh, V out peak, your uh, the output uh, load voltage peak, V out peak, divided by divided by RL, divided by RL, into sinusoid sinusoidal forcing function. So let's call this whatever is the resonance frequency. If that is omega, that is equal to omega. That the frequency that is passing, then this is nothing but omega t plus let's say some phase shift pi. Okay. In general, so you have a sinusoidal load current. So if you subtract, so you have the current IDC coming through the choke. Okay, with a very small AC excursion. The AC component of IDC is small. Okay, as I've said before. Because uh, because of a very large uh, inductance L1, so IDC over here, IDC if you apply KCL at this node, at this node, then IDC minus IRL, uh, this uh, sinusoidal RL, uh, sinusoidal load current. Then what we are left with is the current through the JFET, through the JFET resistance. Let's call this small r, small r. Okay. And that is equal to IR, and that's the expression of the current that you have for a for a very small but finite resistance, small r. Okay, so over here you have this uh, equation uh, from the KCL at node boy V1, which of current law. IRT is uh, IDC that is coming from the choke L1 
minus the load current that is RLT. Okay, so you have this current through the uh, JFET switch. Now, uh, therefore, the instantaneous power is uh, is nothing but I R square R. Okay, and that that that's your uh, expression for the current in terms of I D C and the load current. So square of that into R. That that that's the instantaneous power. Okay, uh, it's a function of time. Now, if you want to take the average, uh, this operation uh, indicates the averaging operation, as you recall. Uh, then the average can be computed over uh, the half cycle when, when the JFET is conducting. So this tau is just 2 pi over omega, this tau, so it's a half cycle. And we are evaluating this integral uh, for the period when the switch is closed, okay, but once the transistor is conducting, not, not when the switch is open, because when the switch is open, then IR is zero, okay. So we are uh, calculating this. Uh, uh, evaluating this integral, the average of the average power, the average power, PR, okay, PR, the average of this over the period once the transistor is conducting or the switch is closed through the uh, using a finite resistance R. Okay, uh, so you evaluating this integral with the equations uh, that uh, that were derived earlier for cosine and sine, uh, evaluating the phase phi in terms of a constant A, which is given as such, okay, you can you can end up uh, evaluating the average power. If you evaluate the integral, you have this expression, okay. And you look at this expression, if R is much, much less than uh, capital RL, so if R is much, much less than RL, and in the denominator, you see that RL is squared, and this is approximately zero. So that means you are not losing any power to the JFET. So your efficiency for class E, for class E amplifier, eta E, let's say, is uh, the power output that is at the load RL divided by the power uh, that is dissipated in the, the total power that, that that is supplied is basically, it should be uh, equal to the dissipated in the transistor plus the power that is available at the load. And uh, since this expression of uh, PR over here, over here what we get, this is PR, the average PR. If that is small for a very small resistance R, finite, uh, small but finite, then uh, since this is, uh, is small as compared to PRL, and this is equal to one, okay? The efficiency is, is 100%.